girl left behind. And no, we will not be writing letters. And Sedia didn't even get any letters. Mm -hmm. My man Ryo breaking hearts left and right. And we're off to Yagumo to meet new girls to leave them behind too. Yep. What's the most important plot points happening? Um, Other than the whole travel to Yagumo right now, there is some such shit happening with obviously the... Uh, what was his name? Like the proxy empire guy. That dude collected all the different wyvern eggs and they're gone now. He's gonna use it for his own shit. And that's pretty much it. He's just cooking behind the scenes. I'm kind of worried for what he's, you know, cooking up. But he's just doing so much shit. But at the end of the day, probably the demise of the kingdom. Until we get his backstory and know what his motives are. It's kind of hard to tell. But he probably just wants the kingdom to go down for his own reasons. But let's begin today's reaction. We got a new drip. What the fuck is an autumn? Call it fall. Yeah, black hair and picking rice off the field. One of us! Asian, one of us! Is she picking up an eggplant? Okay. Grandma's the head of the village. I'm gonna guess that this girl is the girl that was in the bus beside Latifa. It's odd that she's uh, picking up an eggplant. Uh, Nemoji quite often referred to the, you know, a phallic object, right? He's already blushing and gushing, man. Sayo is so down for Ryo's eggplant. Land of Promises. Now, so far, every place we've gone to, people start beef with us. And yes, the wilderness people, they accepted us after the misunderstanding. I wonder if something is gonna happen in Yagumo to make me mad. Probably. This show's really good at doing that. Oh, the Baba sounds wood. Yo, check out that stank guy. You're Yuba. Yuba Baba. Baba Yuba. Yuba Baba. She's still blushing, by the way. That's, that girl right to the right, the eggplant girl, she's still blushing. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Alright, girls, get out of here. Grown-up talk. Let's <laughs> But then... Womp womp. Wonder why they left. And then she did. Aww. I see. It's my daughter! <laughs> This is our papa? What the fuck? Baba! You baba 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 baba! Baba baba! Mm. Oh. Uh, that makes it easier. Press F to pay respects, guys. Baba! One more, go back. True circumstances of why they left? Wait, 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 wait. I was too. Both of them had to leave this country in secret for certain reasons. And when they would come back. For what secret reason? And those who knew that they died got it. A secret why they would left. You, my grandmother, who's gonna tell me? Maybe she might die tomorrow of old age. We can't be fucking around, Baba. Does anyone else have this information? We're running out of time for you specifically. Rudy. I was Rudy related to you. Rudy is Zen's older brother's daughter, our cousin. We from Alabama. We gonna get a cousin, you know, gushing over after us, huh? What, what, uh, 15! I, I see! 15! We're 14 right now. What about Sayo? 20 years old, university student, plus 14. I'm 34, bitch! 
でもその堅苦しい呼び方はやめとくれ。くそ、バババ。I should call it that instead. Just like how <laughs> Momo calls her <laughs> Baba. Shitty grandma. くそ、バババ。さあ、OK。遅くなるんじゃないよ。みんなにはしばらく。Things are looking pretty good so far, other than the secrets. It's pretty chill here. もうもうリナカスイタ。Our cousin. おかえり、リオ。はい。おはようございます。おはよう、ずいぶん早いね。しますその前に朝食の準備もと思いまして。やる気があるのは大歓迎だ。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。Spirit arts, teach me more. So, Yagamo people can use spirit arts. Spirit arts, too, baby. Look at that. Yeah, we've been training for a year. Damn, okay. Yagamo people fucking suck at spirit arts. I thought I was wondering where the spirit arts kind of originated from, but the people, you know, back in the forest, they were pretty good at it. And they even, like, you know, coached us and everything. Yagamo's a bunch of frauds. Can't even make water hot, bro. Can you believe that? That's the Shin guy. He's gonna get cucked and feel jealous. Because this girl is gushing so hard. And that Shin's gonna be like, You taking my man? Sorry, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You taking my girls? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is Shin gonna start shit? Older brother. Okay, okay. It's, a, it's gonna be like a bro con, sis con thing then, maybe, right? Where it's like an overprotected big bro rather than like a love interest getting cucked. Yo. He's not outwardly an asshole. I think we're chilling. The fuck? Y'all never asked more for when I was cooking. Baba should be mad right now and be like, what the fuck? Am I cooking that ass? Yeah, you were trying to make miso soup with cold water. We're chilling. Hunter. We can do more than hunt. Bro doesn't know. That is true. His build is very thin and slim, right? You want to be that, like, I don't know. Just like, it's the Kirito body type. But they're strong as fuck. I'm sure he can hunt. Yeah, can you? You can do what? Even I can use something like spirit arts? Can you make the water hot? Because Baba can't? Ooh. <laughs> this idiot's probably gonna try to flex or make us look bad, but instead get in danger and then we'll have to save him, right? Something like that. But he's not as hostile as, like, let's say, Stuart or other people. I think he speaks in the heart. He's probably not a bad person. <laughs> She's glazing immediately, bro. I, I can call you Onisama if you want. I, 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 and then, you know, Shin's going, what the fuck? You don't call me Onisama and we're literally siblings. <laughs> what did you say? Like someone too high up to be reached. Yeah, you want to reach for this? You want to reach for all of this shit right now? And she's trying to reach for that fucking eggplant. All right, we're hunting. Oh, this is Missy Dura. Shin is out of place. No, not the cute bunnies. No, cute bunnies. Yeah. Now that the big man is in town, we're gonna to be feeding the village more meat. Mm -hmm. More fucking meat. <laughs> Rio's eggplant. Oh, they better be happy about our meat. Don't worry, I got more meat to go around. Rio is packing. I guess this is the, this looks so demented. Right, and you know, it, it's like the hunter's bag basically, rather than having it carrying it all one by one. You know, you have like a hook or shit till you carry the body on your fucking jacket like that. But bro, look at these bunnies. Just 
Oh, it just... It just looks so fucked up, these poor buddies. But that's the, you know, how the food chain works. You gotta eat your meat. Rio's meat. Huh? What's he doing? Hospering? Hospering. Did he just create a hospering? <laughs> what the hell? And this is her infinite bag. Big giant bulb, big two giant bulb, just... What is that art, bro? What are you trying to tell me right now? <laughs> Brother. Like, they gotta be intentional with this, right? There's no way this is all a coincidence, right? There's no way. This show must be fucking trolling me right now. And then it's the girls doing the peeping instead of the guys. Yeah, I took a bath. You stinky girl should wash up too. What's she kunka kunka in? You wanna smell this meat? Yo, Sayo, smell that eggplant. Kunka kunka. It's called not body odor. It's called taking a fucking bath. You stinky ass girls, when's the last time you took a shower? Yo, she's still smelling. Shin. Oh, the other boys. What? True. I don't think Shin's the type to, you know, like, he's not going to accept Ryo if you admonish him like this. This is just gonna make the divide worse and worse. Damn, even my sister is betraying me, man. Weakling. Weakling? True. Yo, he got the sleeper build. I find no shame. Bro, it's the girls just doing it. Ryo's just like existing. He's just like, Hello, I am Ryo. And every girl's like, Oh my god! And then all the guys are like, oh, I can't believe he's doing this. How dare he steal all the girls? But Ryo's like, Hello, I am Ryo. I'm a nice person. Sayo, <laughs> so I ain't going home. Little sister betrayed you. Oh my god, look at that daikon, bro. <laughs> Every Dude, more eggplant. Yo, all these girls are just so thirsty for real right now. Oh my god, he picked up. Look how big that daikon is. Could you imagine how big he's down there? So big and girthy. What a real man. Enough of these limp dick motherfuckers around. What about yours? What's the size of your daikon? <laughs> All right, the ladies are enjoying the showers, the bath. What's she thinking when she's scrubbing herself with Rio soap right now? Is she thinking this is Rio's meat? Bro, this episode is so funny to me. And I think like, this is like peak content for me to react to. Dumb slice of life moments like this shit is actually just so fun. Other fun is when we're shitting on the kids, right? The noble kids and ranting about them. That's also very fun. The action sequences, we're not really watching this for the fights, are we? Like, the action is just kind of like an accessory. Like, cool, hype fight happened, do I really care? Eh, I just want more of these dumbass scenes to talk about. Tax examiner? Who's taxing us? Royal capital, take it. Guard the transport team. So we're definitely gonna come under attack. I bet the tax guy is also gonna be evil. Oh shit! Shin and the other village kids? There's multiple villages in Yagumo? Yeah, what, the, what, okay, what is the other village feeding these kids? Cause like... What the f- it, It's like assassination class. It's like about the high school kid versus middle school kid. What the fuck? Yo, the other village kids are- They're just built stronger. Alright. <laughs> when was the last time you saw her? Cause she's 15 right now. When did you see her last time? No number is gonna make this good, by the way. Like, no answer is gonna make you seem good, by the way. Bruh. Shin, do something. <laughs> so, like, he's a guest. Like, an important guest on behalf of our leader. So if we fuck him up, bad things will happen. 
Ryo can probably show up and do that. Would they antagonize this village? So Yagumo is kind of like a country. I thought like this place was Yagumo. And it is. But there's different villages in Yagumo. Different tribes and shit. And if we do that, politics gets weird. Son of the head of the neighboring village. To look at how well you've developed as a 15 year old girl, Ruri. That sounds so fucking weird. Ugh. Political marriages. Oh, brother. Do we need Ryo to step in and take Rudy then? But she's her cousin! We, we can't do this! She, she is our cousin! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Bunch of sissy liberals. One shot. Oh. Damn. The nonchalant Riz, bro. Look at that. Basically, hand in the pocket. Nothing. Shin. I mean, I'm not really expecting anything from you. Why, why, why am I being upset at you? <laughs> Ryo. <gasps> Baba. You Baba. -ba. Uh -oh. True. Edge of the village. Get out. You're on house under house arrest. Yo. <laughs> He's too feminine. What a sissy. I don't like him. <laughs> oh, nice one, Rio. Okay, okay. We playing dummy with this one. Dumbass. No, it's not even playing dumb. I thought that he moved his feet. It's simply that Ryo is so sturdy that he kicked him and then he fell because Ryo wouldn't budge. The stance was so absolute. This isn't even playing dumb. You assaulted me and I'm just like, the hell? It's on you, bro. They're definitely gonna go out. Bro, they're gonna literally raid Shin's place. Why the fuck do you live alone? Where's your parents? What the fuck? This is bad. They need protection right now. 100% they're gonna escape the hut and go for them. Isn't that the thing that... That other dude was doing? Race or whatever? The GPS tracker slash, you know, kill? What the hell? That looks just like it. Protective amulet. Okay. Don't swallow it. <laughs> he broke his own fucking cart for this. Ryo should just repair the wagon and kick them out of here. Alright. The right shit. We're gonna sell. We gotta be a guardian for this. The tax person. Okay, he seems like a chill person. I thought the tax examiner would be evil. They're chill people. Oh, our new sword. We can imbue spirit arts into it, right? Got a lot of scars. Sayo, Rudy? Both. They just looking at his muscles, bro. Oh, six pack. When I was like a kid. Oh, so all his IRL experiences carry over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen him. You know, he had that Doja shit, right? We have a bit of a bit of flashback. All that experience, you know, carries over. No, don't. Pick up more clothes, come on. Anything but that, please! They're probably disappointed at that. Michan. He's such a good person. She's dead. She's in me, actually. She's literally within us. 
ミチャンコーキーどこにいるのでも生きているならまたいつ帰るかもしれないよ I doesn't want that ever to happen No Then my o n i s a m a will be taken and no We gotta get that bitch out of here No No So this n s i o don't like 自分のためにとございます Tax good それはよかったですルリさんたちも先にお風呂どうぞ Someone please like guard this place while they're using it. I'm worried. But you know they're gonna assault us tonight. They're gonna fucking break in. Oh my god, you dumbass. We got the GPS though. We, we got the tracker. We should be good. Rio, show up. <laughs> Will the studio do it like A1 Pictures? <laughs> like Humbert and Rios with Tise and Roni in bed? How far will they go with this? Am I gonna see some tongue flickers happening in the most crispiest animation possible? Oh, Lord. Okay, good. Okay, immediately. <laughs> all right, all right. They didn't really get away with anything. Like, if this is A1 Pictures doing this shit, like, these girls would have had their clothes stripped. Like, these dudes would have started them to lick their bodies. 100% doing the most creepy shit and then Rio would show up because A1 Pictures <laughs> I love their anime <laughs> but I've seen what they've done I've seen those motherfuckers <laughs> Cliffhanger incoming I remember this scene but I forgot when did this happen? It's the mom, right? It's the implied like mom murder grape scene, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember this flashback. Okay, okay. Part of me thought that this is how like Michan died, but no, he doesn't even know how Michan died. This is our mother. And this dude, the hairstyle, I don't know if he's still alive, right? I don't think we've met him yet. <laughs> oh shit, the camera made it look like he was slipping. Oh, real mad mad. No more Mr. Nice Guy? Now this is nice. Okay. Whenever you have a character like this that's super nice and wholesome the entire time, then he has a moment of actual like just crashing out and he does something dark. That is really cool too, but the girls are going to stop him soon. End him. End him. More. More. Yes. Traumatize those girls too. What are these girls gonna think? Will they be scared of real? Maybe something will awaken where they're like, oh my god, that was actually really hot. I don't know, bro. This is a bit too much now. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Oh my god, he deserved worse than this, man. But the girls are scared. Oh no. He deserves that shit. Like, how many different things can you get away with? I guess they just don't respect our village at all. Because if you're willing to break our fucking law in this place of leaving the hut and then even assaulting the village leader's do like, do like, uh, like family? What the fuck? Like, wait, how are we supposed to be fearing the consequences that comes with touching him when he can do whatever to us? Because politically, there's a power just situation where we're just trash, I guess. Thank you, Mr. Apothel, for the four months of Prime. Appreciate that. We should have crushed his balls there. I agree. Oh, wait. Are they going to get punishment? From the kingdom? Which kingdom is that? Is it the kingdom that we're from or somewhere else? This is cool that there's actually consequences then. I thought that he could just get away with whatever he wanted. More, Rio. More. Yes. Be more like Haruto. If Haruto means being more edgy and dark. Yes, fall to the dark side. No, I don't think so. I don't agree with the logic that if you... If someone is like, like, look about this. This dude is assaulting your mom. He killed her. He probably did some heinous shit. 
And then if you were to deliver divine justice with that same level of brutality, I don't think you're that person. Because the intent is totally different. This motherfucker deserved all of this shit. You think our mom deserved that? Maybe there's some crazy backstory that would answer that shit. I don't agree with that school of thought. This is the fucking white knight ideology of, oh my god, they're hurting us. And if we do the same to hurt them, we are no different. Nah, nah, I, I need a little bit of that Tuka Mimori, Mimori or like, you know, Arifurata Hajime, bro. I, I need someone to be like, fuck it. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but they still deserve that shit. Dark Rio, give me Dark Rio. <laughs> This is so awkward. <laughs> Imagine the morning after, after they all saw that shit, we're just quietly just making miso soup. Just, and they're just turning to like... <laughs> and he's got a knife just chopping. <laughs> this is so awkward. Okay, good. They get arrested. True. They, they understand. Okay, they understand. Good. That's good. I thought they'd be misunderstanding or some bullshit. Parents. Probably has to do with parents, right? Something about it. Alright. That's today's episode. Royal Lineage is next episode. And, and the messenger, someone for coming from the kingdom, I wonder who it's gonna be. It'd be crazy if it's someone that we know. Like, imagine Stewart showing up. I don't know. And yeah, regarding the whole, um, you know, uh, difference of identity, because right now, Ryo is not Haruto, and Haruto is not Ryo. There's like two people, two souls kind of struggling and having this identity crisis. Ryo is the darker one, and Haruto is supposed to be the light, I think, is the example being made. I would love it if you could, you know, you don't have to be mean all the time. Just harness that evil side when you want to deliver justice on the evil motherfuckers and be good in other times. Like, there's got to be a way to have, like, a compromise, right? Today's episode, we arrived in Yagumo, and there's a lot of fun slice of life moments. All of that shit changed as soon as, you know, these pieces of shit showed up in the different village. And I, and I am really interested in how things are ran here because, like, even though we live in Yagumo, this region, and there's different villages, and there's like different elders and stuff like that, I thought that going here could just get away with it because we're looked down upon or something. But no, the kingdom ultimately has the final say. The kingdom still owns this region. We even get taxed and shit, and we're supposed to even like, you know, deliver the rice transport for the extra goods, and Rio's supposed to be the, uh, the bodyguard for that, right? So it's, it's kind of interesting that they're going to send a messenger, and like, he's gonna come here and did you gonna take him away like is that gonna really happen though is justice actually gonna be distributed or is someone shitty from the kingdom gonna show up and start more shit i'm not really but hey that's it for me we're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care